Hello, hello everyone, this is Nocturne, and welcome back to some more Minecraft. As promised, here we are back in the nether. Avi has once again joined us, and we've gotten a little done after we stopped recording two episodes ago, after our little extra long recording session that I broke into the two episodes you just got finished watching recently. Yep. Uh, we ended up going ahead and finished these paths like we showed you we were going to start them. And a little bit off screen just now, Avi and I were trying to figure out a cool little pattern we could do for the center. Um, this area right here, I figure, is going to be kind of a nice little community information center. Um, I think Avi is going to help me out with kind of decorating it, maybe turn it into a really kind of cool looking patio. Because there's some really cool stuff with the two furniture mods we have on here that could really help. Bibliocraft and Jammy. And I have been playing with them, and they are fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I guess we can go ahead and show you what we've been working on for the center. Been playing around with some of the Zycraft blocks, and we came up with something that I think is going to look really nice. Ta-da! And here, let's go ahead and jump up top. Give you guys a better Using view. My badass makeshift dirt stairway of awesomeness, yes. There we go. Take the UI off and take a look at that. How's that look? I think it, wor it works really well. Originally, I was just going to go for uh, with the yellow, and then where you see all the orange, that was also going to be black to sort of really accent the yellow, but talking it over with Avi, I think this looks really pretty sweet, and I think that's what we're actually going to go with. Because the, the best part is the orange makes a nice little off-centered speckle color, and yet at the same time, it's still a nice uniform pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it actually turned out way better than I thought, and part of it just came from us randomly placing blocks, and then all of a sudden it was like, ooh, I really like this. This is going to work. And uh, kind of right here in the middle is where I'm envisioning we're going to have the main book that will lead back to the, the spawn house that Merrick and Zatch built for us. And so hopefully that place will start getting a little bit more use. And over here along these side paths, these borders of the paths, is where we're going to be placing some of the other linking books that will lead to other people's houses. And I think, like, once the Nexus is done, my plan is to kind of start doing some tours of what I've, all the others have been doing on the server, because we'll finally have an easy way to get there without me having to travel 20 to 30 minutes uh, to the other <laughs> side of the, the server to find them. And as a lazy person who won't actually hop out and explore the area, I would appreciate you doing that too. <laughs> but again, uh, back to the Nexus. As you guys can see, there is still a lot of netherrack and quite a bit of work still left to do. Yeah, we got plenty ahead of us here. Uh, but before we get to that, there is one last little thing I wanted to mention to you guys about equivalent exchange. I did mention that as we start coming to things for transmutations, I was going to actually go into them. And these awesome little chiseled stone bricks, I didn't make them, I didn't find them, I haven't seen a single jungle dungeon or anything like that. The cool thing with the equivalent how did you do it, Nock? How did you do it? I'm so glad you asked, Avi. Just get yourself a minium stone, and you'll note in the bottom right, it's telling you what block we're going to be transmuting things into. If you go ahead and hit the G, it'll swap. It's now mossy. It's now cracked. Oh, and now we got chiseled. And you, the you've probably seen this a number of times already in the series, but uh, this nice, cool little glowing box pops up, and it lets you know which ones you're about to transmute. And if we go ahead and switch, you can actually transmute blocks in place. And oh. so very handy too. That is just too fancy, man. Even and you can just. My... Creative abusing tendencies. That is just too <laughs> fancy. Yeah, to be able to make those kind of instantaneous touch-ups right away is something that's really awesome. Now, I think for the next piece, I, I've decided for the moment I'm just going to go with stone brick for the walls and ceilings and then maybe change it up later uh, with something a little cooler. And, well, that's a lot of freaking bricks to change. But if you guys might recall, we made this really awesome wand from Thongcraft recently that's going to help out a lot. And because this is the first time we're actually going to be going a little wild with it, wanted to do some of this on camera because it's so fun. 
Oh my! So, I have a funny feeling my brain's about to explode watching this. If it, you're about to do what I think you're about to do, it very well might. And uh, just to let you guys know, these backpacks here went and made a few of them off camera a while back, and stocked them with all the bricks that we've stocked up back in the barrels. And for whatever reason, the marble went in this one. That's okay. So not to worry, we should have plenty of stuff to go ahead and start taking care of this. I love, absolutely love, <laughs> the wand of equal trade. Oh, how I never get sick of watching this. Because, honestly, this is so fast, it still makes for awesome video. And it's awesome to watch every single time. Like, every single time. I don't get tired of looking at this either. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a little bit here, and a little bit here. Oh, I think I went a little too fast that time. Nope, okay. Wasn't what? sure if I was going too fast for the backpack to constantly keep resupplying my well, stack here. While you've uh, used your block replacing voodoo magic, I am going to wrap up this little top column area up here. Just plop some half slabs. Ah, oh, good, thank you. Yeah, we're trying to half slab everything in the area, kind of like I explained a couple episodes back, because we don't want any unwelcome guests, so if we half slab everything, we shouldn't have to worry about that at all. This is so awesome, guys, isn't it? The Wand of Equal Trade just makes construction a hundred times more fun. <laughs> and, of course, if you don't want to do an entire area like this, there's an easy way to do touch-up jobs. You simply just use left-click, and you change one at a time. So you don't have to worry about accidentally transmuting the wrong blocks. Or, you know... Wand of Equal trading them, because technically this is not transmutation. Oh, yes. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and get back to this. Oh, I finally let the backpack not keep up. Oh, no, I think we actually used them all up. Alright, well, oh, even better. Already? Yeah, 15 stacks. Oh, 15 stacks of stone bricks. There's a ton of bricks in here. My right. face just melted. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get to finishing this, and then we might start going into what we're going to do for the rest of the area, because even though I transmuted this stuff over here, I don't think I actually want any of this to be stone brick. I wanted to do something else with maybe the marble and the basalt, because like I said, we might turn these diagonal ones into pads eventually too one day. So let me go ahead, restock, finish at least the ceiling and these top parts of the walls, and we'll be right back to do a little more design work. And Abby and I will definitely be talking a little bit off screen about what we want to try. So, be right back. Alright everybody, we are back. Um, took a little bit longer to get some of this stuff done. In the meantime, you may notice Abby has decided to change his skin. Um, being the fickle, fickle designer that he is. Uh, in the meantime, we also went ahead and uh, I decided to go ahead and add in these diagonal pads now, just because I think it, it adds to the overall design and looks really nice. And it cuts down a lot on the extra nether rack that we got to figure out what to do with in between. Um, as far as that goes, I decided to try out a couple of things here too. I don't know if I like this or not or what, uh, but we got some sandstone half slabs here, which, which look okay, but Avi like, said they well, look a little plain. They, they, they do look alright, and it's one of those things where... Um... I don't know, it's just something where, like, right here, once it gets to this corner, where you can see, like, the black, the white, and the gray, and then this darker gray, and something about it just, it, it weird against that yellow. But that's just me. Hmm. I don't know. And over here, these are actually dirt half slabs with, uh, the diamond handsaw. Unfortunately, they're considered actual, like, stone blocks, so they'll never grow grass, so it's not really going to look... All that great, it'll forever be dirt, which 
Eh, does kind of fit with the whole trying to bring the overworld into the Nexus theme I was going for with this, but I would so much rather have grass. Uh, yeah, we... Exactly. It's dirt. I mean, really, you know? Mm -hmm. but I did try the green wool out there, but it just became a bit of a green overload in the, the whole area. A little too clashing with the black and white. Exactly, and since we want to keep this natural, going with like a blue wool or like, you know, a red wool or some other color wool to, to, to still look nice would just make it look more artificial, so it, it's, it, it's a hard bargain. Mm hmm And I think we did finally come up with something cool for the stairs. These are actually obsidian stairs. And thanks to Red Power 2, we just cut up a bunch of obsidian into the different pieces, and now... Dude, allow me to demonstrate. A staircase with obsidian. And... Ah, yes. Yeah. Obsidian ah. slab plus obsidian you slab strip. Miss, <laughs> well, and what's fun is they still have the hardness of obsidian. Oh, great. Uh, does you... Sapphire work on these, bi these buggers? I don't or... think so. So, let me go ahead and do that for you. Oh, Thank whoops. you. Whoops. <laughs> Crap. Jump, jump. Jumped in my, yeah, I was, I was in the go. menu. I was <laughs> the menu. It's like, no, Minecraft, I'm in the menu. Dude, you're not understanding me. And I think for the walls, uh, we were thinking maybe do snow for the walls, because it would be a really awesome contrast to the dark obsidian. And it kind of keeps the theme of the black and white we've been doing for paths down here in the main nexus room. Uh, there's other things we could try, but nothing's really popping. Um, at least, like, for this area here. Uh, we were looking at maybe doing sapphire block half slabs, but sapphire isn't all that easy to come by. Eventually, we could do something with UU Matter, for those of you guys familiar with UU Matter. But, as you know from the LP so far, we're nowhere near ready to be generating UU Matter. So that would be a little out of the question. Um, there are people on the server who maybe could donate, and maybe we'll get to that once this is open for public use. But for the moment, this is looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, first people that come to mind are you and Keshem. You guys have gone... Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, that would get us a lot of sapphire. Well... I think I know who I'm going to be saying hi to in a, <laughs> later on this episode. And as far as the very boring stone brick ceiling... Um, to try and kind of bring up a, a more natural feel, uh, you guys who have been playing on Minecraft and servers before might be familiar with those ugly floating bushes you see out in the world. What do I mean by floating bushes? Well, you know, when you plant an oak tree and it grows to be one of those super huge ones, and somebody comes by and only chops down what they can reach with their hand without trying to go up and get the rest of the tree, you get the floating bush. But I'm thinking the floating bush might actually make a really cool canopy for the room. Yes, who? Who would dare do that? Uh, that's just an idea I've got now. Uh, we might go ahead and try that, see what it looks like, and I'd actually do that on camera, because I've been doing a lot of uh, trial work off camera, but I imagine you guys would probably be kind of interested to see some of the trial and error. But because we wanted to go ahead and get the snow for the walls, there's actually something I ran across a little bit ago off screen as I was just kind of Curious as to what was on the other side of the Redwood Forest that's right near uh, the volcano we got all the basalt from. Because I'd never actually been over there before, so... I uh, wanted to show you guys one of the really cool world gen things from Thomcraft I found. So, let me go ahead and work my way over there, because it's a, it's a couple hundred blocks away. And... Actually, I just remembered. There is something really kind of cool that I wanted to show you at home. Uh, you might notice I'm... I seem to be floating. We have a gift from Mr. Black Flame, and I haven't opened it, so I'm rather kind of curious to see what he left us for our our Kickstarter, I guess. <laughs> you still on TeamSpeak, Black Flame? Let's see. Is he there? He's there, but he's muted. I guess he's eating dinner or something. All right, well, we will t get him back on in a bit, so let's go ahead and take a look. Hi. You curious, too? Maybe. Well, hop off so I can break the brick. I also may have wanted to take advantage of timing and the fact that I would appear right above the block. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Whoa! 
That will help a lot. Thank you, Black Flame. Jeez. What was it? What was it? Uh, a crap ton of iridium. <laughs> wow. Oh, Look at that. My. Let's see, just wow. how much is that? A full stack. <laughs> that That is one heck of a Kickstarter. Holy crap. That, oh yeah. Wow, that's got me sweating just thinking about how much <laughs> effort that take. Whew. That's amazing. But, all right, well, since that is uh, pretty much all I wanted to show you guys at home, I'm going to go ahead and head off this way, because I think it's that waypoint you see right out there, so I'll meet you guys over there. All right, everybody, here we are, out in this lovely, I believe, alpine biome. It's quite nice. Mountainous, alpine trees, snowy. So we're going to get lots of snow, but what I found was right over here. Although, unfortunately, it is being guarded very viciously, too. Uh, let me go ahead and put my goggles of revealing back on, and you guys can see. We've actually got an aura node hovering up right by it. And if I can get close enough without being killed, I might be able to show you some of the cool stuff over there. This is uh, a little nerve-wracking. As we were coming up, we were actually being attacked, so... Uh, a little nervous heading over here. Um, you might, guys might remember the Thomcraft dungeon we found uh -oh, back in episode 2 or 3. This is a little bit of an upgrade. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you fly away. Yeah, you keep going that way. Direct north. Uh, he hits me for oh, about three hearts of damage instantly. Anyway, I think we're safe enough for the moment. This is a Thomcraft, um, what do we call them? Totem uh, structure. Yeah, totem. Um, it's probably like one of the Eldritch world gen structures. It's supposed to be sort of like on a sort of Stonehenge abandoned from ancient times. Oh crap. Oh. New one just, yeah, the stones, the circles, Merrick. Yeah. And it has wisp spawners underneath it. So. It's purple too. Yeah, those are vi those are the angry ones. Those are the flux ones. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> All right, so Running like crap. Little girl. Um, bigger. gonna put my protection three thomium helm on, so he doesn't hurt so bad. See if I can. Nope. Nope. Here he comes. Ow! Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Help. Where are you? Quick. Uh, twelve hundred by one eighty. Both positive. Oh god, he's after me. Ah! No, 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 no. I'm sorry to sacrifice you, Happy, but I need to get the chest. <laughs> no, it's there, it's there. That's, that's kind of what I'm here for. <laughs> Ooh, record, record, book. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Oh, crap, another one spawned. Running. Need to eat, need to eat, need to recover. I've got, <laughs> like, two hearts. Nope. Ow, ow. looks at me, I'm screwed. Ugh. Oh. Avi needs his projectile weapon. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> you need quantum. Oh god, he found me again. Yes, I know, I would love to have quantum right now, Merrick. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Um, let me... Crap. Uh... He would have spared quantum, wouldn't he? Um... Bones. And I'm gonna leave the saddle... Oh crap. Bad way to run. You son of a bitch. Blah. Oh, I almost hit you too. <laughs> the music is totally inappropriate to the situation. <laughs> totally. In oh, God. I need to leave now. Sorry, guys. Uh, I would have loved to show you more about this, but we are nowhere near equipped to be able to take on that many wisps at once. You you've seen just how much they've been damaging me already. Fortunately, I can run like crazy and take jumps as I need them with these long vol boots, but... I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, say goodbye for the moment, I think. As soon as we get somewhere safe, anyway. And start gathering up some of this snow, and then I'll meet you guys back at the Nexus, and we can start Wand of Equal trading some stuff in there. Alright, everybody. Um, I really would have liked to have shown us more of that uh, Thomcraft dungeon, but we're probably going to have to work on maybe some better armor before we go back to that. But we'll have to save that for a future episode, as... We're about the 20 minute mark here for the, today's episode, so there's just enough time, I think, to go ahead and start uh, adding the snow and trying out some of the trees. 
Uh, thanks to Ninja's help, we ended up getting quite a decent amount of snow, and I even brought some saplings and bone meal. We can try our luck on getting ourselves some cool bushes. So first off, we're going to go ahead and need to at least target this block. So drop it in down in the world. Target it. There we go. And let me just go ahead and form this guy back into some real snow. And we can begin. Ooh, yeah, that's starting to look good. Ah! Hmm. Quick, undo. Undo? What? In the, on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, it does that sometimes. Um, I'll come back for those. Okay. Since we're doing such a wide area, it's a little hard to fully control these things. And, yeah. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I guess we got way more snow than we needed. That's always a good thing. Well, like I said, uh, we are at most only going to need, uh, what was it, eight and a half? So I said nine to be safe. Let's see if I can actually make this do what it needs to do. Um, as far as the ceiling, we're thinking we're going to continue with the obsidian and just kind of align the, the roof here with that. Yep. And if I get fancy, I might just put a strip of snow down the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing is, there's a little bit of tunnel behind this bedrock here. Uh, let me go ahead and actually clear that out so we can start looking at it. Equivalent exchange bedrock, because, you know, that'd be awesome. Um, yes, you can equal trade it. Oh yeah, it started doing stuff back here. Hello, pig. Alright, that's enough of that. Oops, let me actually turn it off. There we go. So yeah, we've got this back here too. I guess oh, we I can go ahead and do these walls also. Alright. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pig man, please get out of the way. I don't want to accidentally equal trade you and you kill me again. <laughs> that happened earlier off screen as I was working on some stone bricks. Pleasant memories. <laughs> Not really the word I would use. Mm -hmm. Here, let me fix that. Drop him in there. <laughs> Come on, pig. We have places for you. Let's see, I do have a tool that could help us with this. Pig. Get. The hole. Find destiny. There you go. You <laughs> found destiny. Congrats. Okay. You already took care of it for me. Cool. And just like that, he's gonna be there for a while. And complain all you want. See if I care. So yeah, I think this is actually gonna work out pretty well. Yeah. Um, these are gonna be a little hard to reach. Yeah, definitely looking forward to upgrading our armor. There's some cool stuff in industrial craft that we can work with. And maybe even one day in the future we'll start looking at some of the modular power suits mod, because there's some, apparently some really awesome configurations and customizations you can do with your armor then. But I still have a, a fondness for the industrial craft armor, so we'll, we'll start there. And maybe before we go full quantum we'll play around with modular power suits first, just to give it a try. See how it all goes. I don't know. What do you think, Abby? Oh, about the quantum suit? No, the just the the snow. Is it really? Is, is it looking good? I don't know. I I can't. Well, I don't really well, have an eye for this. I, uh, here's the thing I like. If you look, if you just aim toward the um, the stairway this way, look straight down, and you look at the highlights in the obsidian. And if you just work your way toward the wall, you'll see how the uh, the snow has darker highlights in between. Mm -hmm. They're pretty complementary to each other. I'd say it works. Okay. Oh, then yeah. again, you also have a uh, fancier texture pack, so it probably <laughs> could look like, you know, rubbish. It's I don't know. Possible. Yeah, on vanilla, it looks quite nice. 
I'll have to see it on your end to be the uh, final judge of that. Oh, well, it's pretty much just a really, really smooth white with a v barely visible texture of, like, uh, windswept snow. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds fun. All right, back to snow. Pigman, come here. Please get out of my way. Hey, hold on, hold on. No, there you no, go. No, 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 no. I, I, I... Oh, I just I just moved him. I wasn't going to do anything crazy because apparently with the gravity gun, it still counts it as you de causing damage to the pigman. Ah, oh, crap. I did not mean to left click or right click. Jeez. Well, <laughs> well I will clean that up off camera. I'm going to corral these guys in the meantime then because they drive me nuts. Not that you've noticed me purposely shoving them into death holes earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I load you. Get down. No. Get. Hey. Yeah. I think this might work. Hey. Work with me here. Work with me. I'm trying to show you destiny. See, it's over yes. there. Go find destiny. There you go. You have met destiny. No, 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 no. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble. Ah, uh, these pigs refuse to meet destiny. Here, let me help. Oh, by all means. There. You guys Beautiful. sit there. <laughs> Good pigmen. I love how we just condescendingly just throw them in holes. <laughs> it's fantastic. Alright. Alright. Ooh. You like? Ooh. Okay. Well, I think now that we got that going, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of it off camera. Okay. And I think now we can go ahead and start playing around with some trees and see if we can't get something cool coming out of that. So let me go ahead and get some dirt. Good, I have some. Saplings and some bone meal. And let's see. Let's start. Eh, got some dirt right here. Let's try right there. Boing. Aw, little one. I was afraid of that. Fortunately, I prepared a little bit off camera, and you guys might remember the chainsaw I talked about way back when we made the drill. Well, we've got one of those now to play with. And just clear some of the leaves out of the way. User disconnected from your channel. And there we go. Tree all gone. I would continue using the chainsaw on the leaves, but... Chainsaws have an inherent silk touch on them, so you would actually get the leaf block. Which I don't really want to clutter my inventory with, and nor have space for at the moment. Hmm, alright, let's... This should be tall enough to get the big trees. Wouldn't you think? One second. Aha, sapling acquired. Ooh, apple. Hmm. Nether apple, I'm afraid to know how it would it taste like. <laughs> This might be a little trickier than I thought. This might take a lot of work, actually. Well, what we could just do is raise the dirt block high. So, you know, pop the dirt on this guy here or up one higher like so. And then let the tree do its magic. Uh, that might work. Really? You can't do this? Hmm. Huh. I can't plant a sapling on it. Huh. That is weird. Hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, let's pop that out and see if that's any better. No. Oh, hmm. Hold on, bridging across. <laughs> this is most odd. Can you? Oh, it's because it's at uh, that half block level? No, that's, uh, a, that's a full dirt block. Hold on, it's like, toss me some dirt. That is so weird. Oh, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure what's going on, guys. Never seen this happen before. Maybe the server's having trouble. Phenomena is a phenomena. Hmm, let's see. Well, I'll tell you the easy way. Hmm. Yeah, ticks are running pretty low. Nope, it is just not working. Hmm. So what was so special about over here? This is weird. 
Oh, now I can't... <laughs> Why can't I place it on this dirt block? Yeah, this dirt block is next to the half. I... Over here. Huh. Over here. Um, but over here? Nope. Yeah, that's still not working. It's hmm. like if it's even remotely adjacent to uh, one of these marble or basalt half slabs, it just refuses to work. That is just odd. Hmm. Alright, well, sorry guys, I thought this was going to be a little more interesting, so... Um, Evie and I are going to try and do a little more of this. Uh, if we get anything to work, I'll come back and show you guys, but for the moment, we're just going to yeah. keep messing around with this. And for one time, I definitely think off-camera would be best. <laughs> yeah, and we will see you guys in a few. Alright, guys. Uh, we have actually pretty much hit the end of the episode, a lot faster than I had expected. Uh, but... It turns out we were not able to get the trees to work, so Keshem and Avi both helped out a lot, and we decided to go ahead and cover the roof in it instead, and I think this actually worked out really nicely. Gives it a nice look. Uh, it's not quite as curved as you would like, but I think it's going to work great for now. A good exactly. first rough draft, or a first, a first step. And more uh, importantly whatever color you want to call that green in the nether actually complements the sandstone. Mm-hmm. It's glorious. I love it. Yep. Ended up getting the staircase to the blaze farm finished. Looks really nice. Got the obsidian all the way up. And I will complete uh, the last bit to the blaze farm as soon as we're ready to open that up. Mm -hmm. And so I think the only things left now are to take care of what these little marker torches are for and to get our info and I don't know, cafe area filled out and also some lighting I'm thinking wrath lamps but we're gonna have to go ahead and leave those for next episode because like I said we're pretty much at the end here and I think at the end of next episode I'll actually go ahead and do the discussion about wrath lamps I had intended to do a few episodes back but botched so cut it out of the episode <laughs> so yeah. yeah i mess up sometimes shocker anyway i hope you guys have been enjoying this nexus build we are nearly done i don't think it'll take us the entirety of next episode so i might maybe spend a little time doing some more explanations maybe finally build that new armor and you know what we might actually go back with our new armor and see if we can't tame that uh thongcraft dungeon we just stumbled across and see if we can't learn a little more about it without the wisps, wisps killing us instantaneously. So, this has been Nocturne, Avi, Ninja, and Keshem. And Ninja. I think oh, we're right. the only ones on the server right now. <laughs> we actually had a server crash a little earlier. And I guess we will all see you guys in the next episode, more or less. Catch you later.